Hello, this is my recording for the chess analysis project, um, which I'll be uploading to YouTube. Um, this is a game that happened on the Chess with Friends app between me and a dude called Practical Mind. It happened over the course of like a month and a half or so, and um, I just recently ended it, luckily on time for this. Um, it is a game that I thought was interesting, set a lot of interesting positions on a closed off board, and you'll see um, in this computer analysis here that this white bar keeps swinging more and more in my favor without there being all that much of a piece value disparity. Um, and that's all positional advantages, and a lot of that comes from his kind of weird opening. So let's get right into it. I'm playing white, and I play uh, d4. I always like to play the queen's gambit or the king's indian or something. And on black, I like to play the king's indian or the Sicilian unless they do something weird. Um, he does this, which is certainly weird. Uh, it claims the modern defense. The idea seems to be just to fee and shadow the bishop right away in the actual opening, but he doesn't do that. Um, senseless doesn't really control any of the center squares on the board. Um, what I do instead of my normal opening is just this. Because normally they take the knight out or they put a pawn here. So this isn't an option, but here it is. And if they're going to let me take the middle of the board, I'll do it while it's still open to me. Um, he does this, which it thinks is weird too. And it, yeah, it seems to think that that was the idea. Um, he looks to be looking to double fee and shed of his bishops, but if you're going to do that, do them one at a time. Um, doing this just gives me too many moves to take over the center of the board, and that's what I do. Um, I move this pawn up again, because nothing he has is attacking anything anywhere near here. Um, he fee and shed his bishop. I think this one will be a little better. Um, it be a little harder for me to defend the way I, I do here because I do it with just this pawn move, which even further solidifies my um, control over the center. Um, if he had gone here, this would be a little weaker, because it would only have one support, um, and it wouldn't have the queen behind it. Um, but he does this, so it makes it pretty easy for me to just do this. It has two pawns and a queen backing it up, um, and it pushes right in here. Um, closes off this bishop's dragging, so there's two pawns in the way of it. Um, and he plays this knight move. This knight move attacks these two. Um, this one is undefended, so theoretically my next move is either going to be this or this um, to protect that, or this pawn move. But whatever I do next has to protect this pawn. And this knight move develops a piece, defends these two squares. Um, he does this, which offers up the en passant, but it would actually make my whole position fall apart if I did it. Um, this pawns would just be two isolated pawns. He'd be able to uh, take with the knight. I take with my knight. He takes with his bishop. I'm down pieces, so I can't take that. Um, it lays a kind of soft claim on these squares. Um, this one does have one attacker from my side and one attacker from his side. My attacker is a queen. His is a pawn, so it doesn't matter. Um, my next move, I believe, is this because it recontests both of these squares and forces him to defend this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, the computer seems to think this is good. Um, I, I don't quite see what it, what, it, what it sees there, but it sees something. Um, and that would be a very weird move for me to make in a game, I think. Um, but I do this. It attacks this pawn, which doesn't have a defender now, and it um, contests the square with something a little less valuable than a queen. There's no way for me to get a pawn over there to do it, though. Um, and it also stacks up on the square with the bishop. He moves his queen to defend this, which a little weird. Um, yeah, I would nor uh, just use the pawn, I guess. Um, and it also, since this knight here is a little trapped in, moving up that pawn opens up that square for the knight. Um, it seems to think this is good, but with the bishop, I think that move is never, ever, ever, ever good. But I mean, obviously that's not literally true, but in most cases you do this, and they either have to take the knight which is a third of a pawn loss for them, or they have to run the bishop away, and that loses them um, tempo, because he can't run away here, he'd get trapped by this pawn move, so he has to move it here, 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 and he could have just done that in the first place, and I got to develop a pawn out of it. So I, I don't necessarily agree that that's a good move, but the computers do seem to disagree with me on this. Um, I move my bishop here, um, frees up castling, develops a piece, adds another defender on these pawns, um, there isn't really much better place to go unless I were to move that up. Um, but even then, if I were to move this up and uh, fan shadow this bishop, it has so many pieces in its way. And here is maybe maybe this is okay. But 
it, it's too far away moves wise he does this which theoretically must be preparing to put something on this square um that's the only reason i could ever imagine for this move um i i guess this is what the plan is to move this pawn up here i castle um just because i didn't see anything really better to do it's recommending this which i went over i would never do um unless i had some strong tactic associates he moves this pawn up either i take and i don't like trading bishops for knights or I run it away here and he does that and then i run it away here or he, he does this and i just run it back to here um moving it here would have been an okay move it's probably the only other like pretty okay move i see here i don't want to do anything with the queen this knight anywhere it can go would be worse than where it is anywhere this knight can go would be worse than it is um this bishop anywhere it go isn't that great um so i just castle because i didn't see much of a, anything forceful i just went for a low priority move like castling um he moves this pawn up which kind of reaffirms what i said earlier where if i had done this this was already a move he was looking to do apparently so giving him another reason to make a move he already wanted to do is not is always worse like the, this move here that he was going to do anyway would have been better if i had a bishop here I do this. Um, I do this to prepare it to move this pawn up and then here because I have two defenders on the square, the knight and the bishop. Um, so that, that's the general plan to move this pawn up and uh, force this knight off of the square and then kind of break into things. Um, and you'll notice already nothing has been taken this whole game, but the computer already says I'm up this much. Um, all of his pieces don't have that many places to go. The bishop can only go here. The rook can't go anywhere. The knight can't go here. The knight can't move at all. The queen can't really... It can slide along here, but that gets closed off later. Um, but even if it does, if the queen moves, then he, he's going to end up losing this pawn to the knight. So the queen's stuck there. Um, this bishop only has one square to go. This knight can't really go anywhere. It can go here, and that's it. So he has so many limited possibilities, and you can see it's already reflecting here. Whereas me, I got the center of the board. I have much more space to breathe. Like, okay, whatever. He makes this move here, defending this, which frees up his queen to go elsewhere. That seems pretty simple. Um, it, it thinks this was a pretty strong move, too, which it affects it, in x-ray defense here. It kind of accomplishes the same idea. But the idea here is to free up the queen to go do something else. But even then... It doesn't have many places to go. It can go here, here. Those are its two squares. Those aren't fun moves to make on a queen, just moving it over one. Um, I move my king here. The computer doesn't like this. The idea here is I was planning to do this and then this. But if I do that, put that back, he takes here. And if my king isn't there, then I then he can just swing down and take this with his rook. Uh, even after I do this, so it comes out even. So I move my king here, so when I theoretically make these two pawn moves, um, he cannot take this pawn for free. Um, the, the computer doesn't see it that way. Um, it thinks moving my bishop here, which I said earlier is a decent move I could have made. He moves his knight here, like I was saying, that's pretty much the only place it can go um, without like moving this pawn up and moving it here, but then that's the bad place for a knight. Um, even then, this is the only real place for it to go after that right it can't go here can't go here i can't go here you wouldn't put it back can't go here so i play this computer is not a huge fan of it but the idea here was it closes off the one place that i could go the issue with it is is he can do this and um it kind of forces some weird stuff um and i think that's the move he played if i remember right yeah he plays here i think so that's an inaccuracy um, the computer thinks I should have taken here, but in my mind, that breaks apart my pawn structure, and I trade a pawn for a pawn, because he just retakes with the bishop. Um, so instead, I play this. <coughs> I deny him this. Um, if the trade's going to happen here, it's a little less destructive to my pawn structure and control of the center. Um, even if he takes here, I, I can take it with the knight. It's not so bad. Um, and it, op it opens up the board a little. That's kind of what I was getting at now. Like, there were no good moves to make. Like, every move I looked at was, like, kind of meh. So I just wanted to smash open some part of the board so I could start forcing aggression through it. He does this, which actually kind of pissed me off a little because my plan was to go here and here. 
that's no longer an option. Um, maybe I could do something with this pawn or something. I don't know. But I don't know if I did. It once again thinks he should be in shadow this uh, bishop because I don't think he'd want a castle queen side at this point. There's too many pawns like right up in it. It's about to it's gonna be trades. It's going to open up. I take here. I am the idea with taking here is just that if he takes there, it does a little more to hurt my position than just taking here. He can't take with the rook theoretically because it stops him from castling. So he's going to take with this bishop, I imagine. Yeah, he takes with the bishop. Computer agrees that, but it's best. It doesn't even offer up taking with the rook as like a valuable alternative. Um, if we could actually go back, I'd be interested to see how much worse it rates it. Yeah, it rates taking it with the rook as half a pawn worse or so. But the longer it runs, the less it cares. Um, so I did this with the knight, and the computer agrees this is best, which I was shocked by. But the idea here was just none of my pieces wanted to be anywhere else. Um, if I put my bishop here now, I can't do anything. I can't attack any of that. I can maybe put it here, but that's not that great. And it's the only piece that's not developed. All of these pieces don't want to be much of anywhere else. Maybe my queen. So this knight here, if we go back, it can't go here, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. So you got. I, I figure I don't have any high priority moves to do. I'll do a low priority move, and that's moving this knight, shuffling it around, getting it somewhere where it can actually do stuff actually defend important pieces instead of just every square it could go to his death. So that we play that, and the computer seems to agree. Um, he moves his rook here, losing his opportunity to castle. I, I, I don't fully get it. The idea must be to push this pawn. Um, but even then, after that, he just does another rook move. So who, who knows? Um, so once again, back to just shuffling this knight around, and the computer seems to be in full agreement that that's the thing to do. So I just have a pretty strong board right now. He moves this rook up. I, I don't get it. It seems to think it's not like the worst move in the world. This is good. Um, I can't, for the life of me, imagine what this is accomplishing. I guess the idea here is if he's going to be bringing his queen back here, it can slide in behind the rook. Um, whereas if the, before the rook would be blocking its way, it would have to do some weird moves. But it's just, it's an effect of this. His pieces don't have anywhere they can go in, the, in this game. They really don't. Um, like, the, most of his pieces have, like, one or two valid squares that they can move to. So he has to make some weird-looking moves. Okay. And I finally get the knight onto the square I wanted it on. Um, and I think the computer even thinks I should have moved it here after, which I do eventually. But when I do, it doesn't think it's so good. Um, so he moves his queen there to finally get it off of this spot where it can only move to one square. Uh, it can now move to a whole four squares. Um... I move my queen over here. I see a lot of openness. I see this is hanging. This pins this to the king. Um, it forces him to defend this bishop, either with the rook or with this. He can't defend like that because his king's under attack. Um, if he does move like this, my queen just takes that. Or it's, It seemed like a pretty forceful move, and I was looking to start doing stuff with my queen at this point. He defends with his queen. Um, it thinks defending with the rook is a little better. I uh, see now, yeah, now I do this move with the knight, and it's like, nah. It thinks I should have done this, because then this bishop can't take. I'm threatening um, this fork here, although I would need to somehow get rid of his rook to make that happen, but it does threaten that fork. It threatens to do stuff here, too, forking the knight and the rook, but once again, there's a defender on both of these squares. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure what it sees, but it thinks I should have done that, and it's a, certainly a safe move to make, but... I did. I, I moved the other knight up instead, I guess. Um, let's see what the actual piece value difference was. So it thinks that's like almost a whole pawn better doing it this way. So he moves that rook to back up. Um, this threatens some like weird discovery attack or something. Um, it's battering a lot of stuff down here. He's clearly stacking up his pieces here to try and break out because he can't do it here. Um, I play this move. I just offer up the queen trade. Um, it doesn't exactly love it. Um, it, it, I was ready to take it, though. It would get me a passed pawn. It would be a little bit of a struggle to defend that passed pawn, though. Um, and it would open up the center of the board, which, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit down for. I'm kind of a little bit sick. But you can see the piece value is still even here. I'm up two and a half pawns, though, even though we've both only taken one pawn this whole game. 
he rejects that, making this even more. Three whole pawns, my favorite, even though nothing's been taken. But I have this annoying queen right here. He um, has a couple options to attack it. Um, he can do this, but then my queen can slide out here. He can do this, but my queen can slide out um, to here. So there's nothing he can do that's too forceful. I just have to be careful that whenever I get the queen in a position like this, I need to always think at least two moves ahead to make sure there's nothing. Um, super obvious to get my queen trapped, that it always has escape squares. Um, I move the rook over here to put pressure on this. Um, it's a th I guess, and to back up my queen, if it has to run away here. Um, and because nothing's attacking this pawn anymore, really. Even if he moves his bishop away, my knight's still defending it, so his rook can't take it. So this isn't needed defending this pawn, and here it is on a more open file attacking a semi-vulnerable piece. Um, especially this knight can't take so if, if my rook takes here his his queen would have to i guess but even then if i take here he, he takes it's still me down two pawns so um i don't remember 100 percent what i was thinking on every one of these moves but it was just putting the rook on a slightly more involved slightly stronger spot and just letting the knight defend this pawn for now through this x-ray from this x-ray attack he makes the bishop move to kick my queen out and I make the only valid response, I think, and the computer agrees there wasn't another valid response, putting my queen here. Um, and it threatens this, too, now, because, I mean, not not fully <laughs> threatens it, because I gotta just take it with my queen and get my queen taken, but it does remove a defender from this pawn. He moves there with his rook which it doesn't agree with, um, just to try and keep kicking my queen out. But, I mean, my queen has plenty of places to go. I don't I don't mind. Um, this next move, I considered both of these options here. Um, so what I like about this one was it gives my queen plenty of places to go. It just lets my queen get to the other side of the board and do stuff here. Um, what I liked about moving my queen here instead, we can just back up and play it. Um, let's just say he makes some move. Um, then I can move my knight here, because we were running into this issue earlier where I cannot take this pawn with my queen, but it, it's theoretically takeable. I have more attackers on it than he has defenders, so it would allow me to do this. The rook can't take that, um, and then next turn I, I could attack here, um, or he'd have to move his, his um, rook to defend it. Um, he'd have to slide his rook up to a6, um, but I, it seemed like a pretty strong, forceful move. Um, I don't even think that's what the computer sees for it. It's, the computer sees me going here with it. Once again, kind of threatening these forks, but I, I don't see how to exactly make any of them work. But either way, even with the queen down here, I could have done this. It just didn't seem too productive. But that's not what I played. Um, I played this. Um, just to let my queen out, get rid of all this, move it over. Uh, get it doing stuff elsewhere. He plays this pawn move. Um... Uh, the idea is to break open my king's position. He has this rook x-ray attacking at my king, so he wants to have these pawn trades. Um, I move my rook here, um, so if he takes, I take, and then my rook's on the open file. This pawn's defended by my queen, or by my king. Um, it thinks he should have taken, I don't know, because then, once again, my rook would be controlling this file. He moves his rook over to counter control the file, so if I retake, my rook gets taken, I trade, or whatever. He trades a kind of more a more useful rook with more movement opportunities for one that can only really move nowhere, and it puts it on a stronger spot. And there's the issue is um, it removes the defender from the square. Um, this has two attackers on it and one, now one defender, um, so it's kind of just a free take. And I believe it's what I do. I take it. It thinks it's an inaccuracy, but like in my mind, that's already a pawn up. This is the first time in the whole game I'm ahead of material, even though I've been rated higher uh, during other points in the game. If he takes with this, I retake. I value bishops more highly, so he traded a bishop and a pawn for a knight. That's very bad, I think so. He blocks it. The computer thinks he should have taken it. Um, he just gets the rook off of the square. Um, this is, he could have also gone here, and a little more forceful, and still defended this. He can't go here because then the bishop takes it. Okay, I move my queen over, and it thinks that's excellent. And that was the idea earlier, moving my queen over to participate in the section of the, of the board. Um, I think I have enough over here to hold this, whatever attack he's attempting to do on my pawn. He's getting in his own way a lot here. 
once again, not a lot of, like, this knight literally cannot move anywhere. There's not a single square that my knight can move. There's, like, a lot of that in his position here. Um, so, he moves the queen over, thinks that's best. It doubles up here. So, but I have two defenders. I have this knight defending, I have my queen defending. So he still can't actually take that. So I can just ignore it. I take this with my knight. Um, it thinks going here is better, but it seems kind of free because he takes, takes, he can't take, so it gets retaken. Um, he has the option to slide it over there and put me in check. And I, I believe that is what he does. Yep, he takes there, puts it in check. I take. No, no, he doesn't. It thinks he should, though. Um, he does this weird uh, move here, trying to put attackers on here, but it already has two defenders. Maybe he's... No, he can't be trying to slide out here. The other thing is it blocks his own queen. Uh, I don't think it's good, and it, it certainly doesn't think it's good. It thinks I lost him, like, two pawns worth of value from his position. I move my king out of here just to preemptively uh, prepare for this. Uh, it thinks I should have done this, but I don't know about that, because then he puts me in check, my king has to run here, and then he just gets a free rook. I don't know, it thinks, there, r7 check, king g1, okay, I, I see what it's saying. Yeah, and then take, and then take, but I was only up two pawns, I wasn't super excited to just start trading pieces, but he moves the knight to add a second attacker here, um, which could maybe work, but um, if I don't, def I defend it with this, I'm pretty sure that. But it almost also at this point might be possible for him to take. I just take with my queen, he takes. I take with my king, and I got a knight and a rook for a queen, and I'm ahead. I'm still ahead of pawn. Um, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I think I just defend it by moving this pawn up. Yeah, and it makes my pawn structure really strong. It makes my white bishop kind of garbage though, because now every pawn on my side's on a white square, and it would have to do so many moves to get anywhere useful. They would have to like go here, here. And even then, I don't know if that's like a tenable position. So this thing's just stuck here defending pawns. But a lot of his pieces are stuck where they are. Like the bishop, pretty much stuck. Uh, this queen, pretty st relatively stuck. The rook's pretty stuck. <laughs> yeah, that rook can't move anywhere. Yeah, there's a whole lot of that. And h5. On um, the idea here is I can't take that because that pawn is pinned. Um, seems to think that was an inaccuracy. Lost him some more value. I move my king away here to hold the base of this pawn structure two points. Um, better than moving it out anywhere here, and I can't move it there. I can't move it there, and all of these open it up to just more aggression. So I just slide it back into a, a, a safety hole, you know. He moves the knight there. Um, it thinks that was a mistake. Um, I think it thinks I should take here, but like I said, I don't necessarily love trading bishops for knights. I go here. Um, it seems to think it's a blunder. Um, it says that he plays his rook there. I play my king back. I don't fully understand why I would do that. And then the rook there, and then my rook there. I'm confused as to where in here it sees him gaining six pawns. Like, I don't see why I'm losing a rook in here. It seems to think in some like six move down the road way he gains a um, he gains some value back here and evens out the game I suppose, but it seems unlikely from a human. Um, he plays the queen here, taking attackers off this. Although it was already just kind of doing an X-ray attack, not truly participating. Um, the idea, I guess, to slide the queen uh, over here and participate, uh, put my king in check, right? So I put, yep, I put my rook here because I saw that move. He can no longer do this. So his queen is still pretty ineffective here. Can go there, 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 but none of them do nearly as much. He does this to kind of double up. I guess he wants to do this, put me in check, and then like I have to back off or something. So I do this. Um, this attacks that knight and says, get the hell out. It says, go away. And it says, you can't do this anymore either. So he wasted two moves doing that, and I just kind of let me put a pawn somewhere. I didn't hate it happy in any way. I kind of like that. He thinks he should have just traded, um, and I'm not too in disagreement with that. Um, it would be a knight for a bishop. It's just this bishop's kind of garbage. I've talked about this before. This is like my weakest piece right now. It's the piece that's the least where it wants to be, um, whereas his knight was kind of the piece that was most where it wanted to be. Um, 
So so I don't, I don't know if, which side I'm on there. I think it would have been a fine move either way. Um, but he runs it away here, blocks this rook in too. Um, I slide this up now. That's an option to break open the center. I retake. It actually fixes my stacked pawns if this happens. And it opens up room for all my other pawns to storm forward, which they're already a little poised to do. Um, he does another queen move that I don't understand. Um, I, it's trying to move this up here. I don't, but even then he still can't, even with like this bishop and this rook and this queen, like it still has a pawn, a rook and a bishop and a knight all defending it. So he can't even do that. It does seem like a bad move. Um, I move this up, kick this knight off. I, w I was aware at this point that this knight and the theme of this had nowhere to go. It couldn't go here, couldn't go here, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. So it can only go here. And I had this next tactic planned out. This is the only thing this knight can do. So he does it. Yes, and it's still pretty bad. Um, so what I wanted to do next was this next move, this, um, it gets upon a, or it gets a rook right inside of his position, pins this knight down. It's very hard to defend this. Um, it threatens to bring the queen in too. Um, and the queen would be backed up by a bishop that would be following suit. So if he like, he can't even block there because he just loses the rook. This is, I, and right now he can just kind of leave a B. This has two defenders, but um, his position now has like a big hole in it, and I, I can start sliding things in. Um, he moves his pawn up, which uh, certainly distracted me. Um, and it's it's that move I was talking about earlier, but he just can't. He can't do this. So I take. And yeah, he, he realizes, oh, wow, I can't take any of that. He tries to make a more forceful move. Um and I think the computer thinks, yeah, it says I'm best off taking this with my queen and accepting the bishop and the rook for a queen um, and getting a bishop of my own in there. And then um, this is still going on here. So I just moved the queen back. It says that's an excellent move, but it, it slightly prefers me taking it. Um, I moved back here to defend this bishop so we can take it. Um, if I didn't do this, I could recapture with my rook, but once I recapture with the rook, he can start actually taking this pawn. This pawn needed this rook here to defend it, because um, every one of these three defending pieces is needed to defend this attack he has going on. Okay, he uh, moves his bishop back there. He's realized this isn't going to happen. He has to move it anywhere. It's going to be taken, um, and if it got taken, his queen would be under attack from my rook. It would just be a really bad spot to be in, um, but I do have a passed pawn of sorts. So he slides his bishop back. There were two spots to put it. He chose the one that didn't block his queen. I move my bishop there and take. Um, he can retake, um, but it's whatever. It kind of pulls the rook away, um, opens him up to a lot of new attacks. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't. It doesn't even think he should have, I guess. Um, it thinks he should have slid it over here, uh, which would be defended by the knight. I don't know. So I do this. I do this to pin the rook down. So now uh, if the rook moves and suddenly this is going to be sliding into his um, back door, um, it thinks I should have pushed this pawn uh, and just worked towards a pass pawn and get a queen. He moves the rook here, and we go right ahead. He's threatening to take this, but he's in check. And we are in a precarious position now, because if I ever lose um, tempo, he takes this um, for even a turn. Because uh, there's nothing defending it, and this is defending the rook. I was expecting him to go here, and I had plans for that, but he decides instead to go here. Um, which is fine. It was one of his two moves. I finally start moving this pawn up. Um, he moves the queen over, um, which kind of does get in the way of this. I wished he had put his queen here. I'd also run the calculation on this. I'm pushing this pawn up with his king there. Because his king kind of holds us together a little, defending this bishop. It thinks I should have kept pushing. Because I guess he has to take with the queen. If he takes with the bishop, he gets his queen taken. So I, I, I guess I see what it's thinking. I move my queen over here to defend this, so this is no longer something I have to worry about. He moves his rook there, and it says it's now mate in three. Um, and I think just I didn't do this move thinking of mate in three, but... Uh, I did this move, just to put him in check and try and force his king away. And it, it, it has to force his king away. 
uh, is king once I do this next move. Very, oh, this isn't the move I did. I guess I did it later. I move my rook here to counteract this and offer the rook trade. He moves his queen there, and then I do this. Um, so his king can't move here, can't move here, can't move here, can't move here. So it has to move, and it can't even move here. has to move here. Um, right, yeah. And at this point, it's mate in two, and he sees that. And the mate is, I go here. I can just show you. It's forced. Um, his king goes there. I go here, check, and it's defended by this. Uh, oh, and apparently it's also a mate with that. So there's two mate and twos going on here. Um, he forfeited at this point. Um, and then he goes here, I guess. Um, and then I slide the queen up. All right, that's... Yeah, I, he goes there. Or I can do it with the pawn. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of mates going on here. And he saw that, and he just forfeited. Um, so that's the game. I thought it was pretty interesting. We're at half an hour. I'll get it uploading now.